Hello all. Today we are going to see about two of uh, 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 two concepts, namely bias and uh, variance. So these uh, two uh, concepts, bias and variance, will tell us how well our algorithm will perform during training and testing. So in the last lecture, we saw about linear regression model. So linear regression model is a supervised algorithm, so in which we give uh, uh, labeled data as input. So we give x. So in the last lecture, we gave uh, the square feet of houses as inputs and the output is nothing but the um, the rent rent of each uh, the corresponding uh, uh, house for uh, the respective uh, square feet so we give the labeled data so the x and y pairs are given as uh, input uh, in during trainings and we come up with a model um, come up with a model which can which will be able to predict the unknown values of uh, x so we need to uh, to come up with a model we need to learn the model parameters so in the case of uh, linear regression it was uh, slope and intercept we we f found uh, the these two um, parameters model parameters by finding the best line of fit so now we'll see so uh, when we come up with such a model so what happens during uh, training and testing so what are the uh, uh, the various factors that might affect uh, our model so so we'll see about it so let's see this graph first so uh, this is a linear regression uh, so this is the best line of fit we saw in the last lecture so we can see here so the, the x is nothing but the size of home so we have uh, the linear reg uh, equation so uh, theta naught plus theta 1 x so the x is going to be uh, our uh, um, input and uh, these two are the model parameters so, so this is the predicted variable so now, so this uh, line uh, depicts the training, the model, the the model, uh, the tra uh, the model that is uh, um, built using the training example. So we can see that we we were not able to fit the a few uh, most of the uh, training uh, inputs itself because we have only single attribute here, so size of the home. So maybe if we increase one more dimension of this attribute, so maybe we can consider uh, the place in which this uh, the home is. Uh, uh, situated so uh, we can increase the feature or the attribute so that way we may be able to fit this uh, fit the the, the left uh, inputs as well so here what happens is that so we have come up with a model so we have come up with a model which is uh, but still we were not able to uh, fit the training data itself so such condition is condition is called high bias so the sense like the model is underfit so that means the model is not able to perform well even in the training so because it is even not, it is not even able to satisfy the uh, training inputs so such condition is called as the uh, bi high bias and it is a uh, uh, underfit is equivalent to the high bias when there is a high bias we call it as an uh, um, we call our model to be an underfitted model so now here we can see so we have increased uh, one more attribute here and the degree of the polynomial so that means the degree of the polynomial um, this is also a linear regression but the degree of the polynomial has been increased so now we can see most of the input uh, data the training data um, uh, training data are uh, uh, fit well so now um, so this is generalized model so the model built out of this will be generalized so now see this case so now we what we have done is that we have tried to increase the uh, increase more number of attributes to satisfy uh, most of our uh, training inputs so we just keep on increasing our attributes like what are the facilities uh, available in the uh, in that particular area uh, which can influence the price of the home when we keep on uh, scaling up the attributes to satisfy our training uh, samples what happens is that we may be able to fit all our training data um, but what happens is that when you give a, when we give a, an unknown input so while testing when we give an unknown input so the unknown input may not face all uh, all these scenarios so that point your our uh, testing will not be um, satisfied the the predicted value for the test input the unknown input will not be uh, accurate so that is the uh, disadvantage of increasing the a number of uh, attributes or features to satisfy the training so that condition we call it as a high variance so high variance is a situation in which we try to satisfy all the we sat, uh, satisfy in the sense we uh, try to fit all the training samples uh, to uh, increase the training accuracy 
by increasing the number of features. So that condition is high variance. It is called also overfit. So what we have done to a model is that we have tried to overfit our model. So maybe our training, may, um, when we calculate accuracy for a training set of inputs, we may get a very good accuracy. But uh, during testing, so we may not get uh, uh, accuracy uh, during testing. So that is uh, testing. So uh, to sum, high bias means like we may not, we are not able to, uh, if we have few number of attributes, we may not able to uh, fit the training data itself. So that case like our uh, um, uh, the accuracy we may fall even during the training. So um, our model is underfit, underfit model. So in such case, we may increase, we may need to increase the number of attributes. So when we have correct number of attributes, so we might end up with a generalized model, so which can satisfy both the training um, inputs as well as the n number of unknown uh, inputs, so which may uh, be given during testing. So that uh, model is uh, a generalized model. So overfitting condition is also not desirable like underfit. So wherein uh, we call it as a high variance, a high variance in the sense we, uh, we try to satisfy all the input the training inputs by increasing the number of uh, features compatible to the training sample, which may not be uh, the case uh, for the test input, which may be given later. So that case, the model will perform um, extremely well during training, but the accuracy may, uh, accuracy may go down during testing. So that condition is called high variance or uh, overfit. Yeah, so, so this is the equation uh, given for training. So we can uh, see uh, through this graph, uh, we'll understand even better. So now uh, the training error is given by um, 1 by 2m. So m is number of training samples. So we are finding the summation of uh, the square of uh, the differences between the um, obtained uh, hypothesis, uh, the difference between the actual, actual label and the obtained uh, um, uh, actual output and the um, uh, uh, expected out output. So this is, that difference is the error actually. So we are calculating the error during the training and cross validation is nothing but uh, uh, cross validation is nothing but splitting the training samples into two sets in, namely. So for example, I have thousand uh, um, uh, training inputs. Now what I can do is that uh, uh, I can split the training set to be 900, build my, mo build, uh, build my model and I can have the uh, the last 100 inputs as my test input. So now I can give that uh, test input and test my model. So anyway, um, this y is, uh, I know because uh, the, um, for the supervised learning algorithm, the uh, the expected output, so that the predicted output is the uh, given. So because we have labeled data. So uh, by comparing with that, we can understand uh, how ac uh, accurate uh, it is for uh, testing. So that method is called cross validation. So we take it as a testing error and this is training error. So uh, this CV uh, uh, suffix stands for stands for cross, val cross validation. So now we'll, uh, we'll see the bias and uh, variance condition in this curve. So now um, the uh, y-axis we have error and the in the uh, x-axis uh, is a degree of polynomial or we can uh, think of it as uh, the number of attributes we have. So first we'll see about the training error. So now what happens, so when the degree uh, is low, the both the train, uh, the error, uh, the, the, the error is high. So for both, uh, the, this is a testing error and the, this is a training error curve. So the error is high when the uh, degree is very low. So that means the number of attributes very low. So the degree, the error is high for both training and testing. So and the error decreases when the uh, degree is considerably sufficient, but uh, the error decreases when the degree goes high for the training curve. So why? Because the all we are trying to overfit all the, um, the the training inputs, and the error is considerably getting low. But for the case of testing test inputs, which may not see such uh, scenarios, uh, so, uh, the the scenarios of these degrees, so the error actually goes high again. So after this degree, so uh, we may stop. At this point, as we may cut down the rest of the attributes, and uh, so the testing error goes high. So this is variance. So this part is called variance because uh, training is uh, performing well, and but the testing is uh, uh, going bad. So this is uh, variance, and here is the bias. Like uh, the, this part is bias because the uh, the training itself is not 
been able to perform well so because of the insufficient uh, number of uh, degree or the number of features so that's about uh, a bias and um, variant so high bias is underfit so we have to increase the attributes and high variance is called overfit so training so here in high bias condition both training and testing errors will be high and in high variance training error will be low so because we have overfitted the model so training error will be less and um, in tra but the testing error will be very high so because so all the attributes we have tried to uh, fit into the model so may not be present in our uh, test input so uh, that's uh, that's why we are uh, test input uh, will be uh, will not be predicted accurately so that's about uh, high bias and high variance high bias is also called as underfit and equivalent to underfit and uh, high variance is equivalent to a overfit model thank you